Okay, I'm here with uh, D. Barry here and Boom Boom Forreston, and we're going to go to get some uh, interviews going on. So I'm going to start with D. Barry. D. Barry, you know, you got a lot of moves going out there, and you're also a hard-nosed runner. When you see a linebacker and everything like that, what makes you make those moves, and wh why do you make those moves? Well, I really make those moves just on, on how, how, how he's standing and what he's doing. At the time, if he's flowing, I make I try to feel like a dead look stiff, or if he's just head up, I just try to run him over because I think that's in my mentality just to run hard. Yeah, I've seen that through the past couple of years that you've been running really hard, and the move's been really spectacular, too. I've been wanting to compliment you on that. Thanks, BT. You're not so bad yourself. I appreciate you, man. And now I'm going to go to Boom Boom Forcey. You know, you guys are the big boys up front. What, what technique do you think is best used for those big guys? Because, you know, a lot of people say they're slow and, you know, they can't get around. But I've seen you. Why do you make those moves? What, what brings you to make those moves and cut off the line so fast? It all start from the, you know, the first series of the game. You gotta try to focus in and, and try to adjust to what snap count they really have. Usually, it take me after the first drive to know, you know, the cadence. A lot of offensive teams like to stick to the same cadence. Once you get the line up, you know, now it's adjust to your hand. Now every time, you know, the center hand on the ball, he usually look back at the, at the quarterback and ready for the clap. When you see that clap, you gotta wait till you know one second. After that one second, you gonna snap the ball. Good, good. Yeah, I've been wanting to compliment you on that too, man. You got one of the quickest steps I've seen. We really got to dominate that, take that to the next level. And the next question is not so much pertaining to football, because you know we always talk about football. It's time to get away from that. I was wondering, what's your favorite dessert? Uh, my favorite dessert gotta be that, that key lime cake, man. That key lime cake. Yeah, a lot of guys don't know about that. Who throw down on that? My mom. Okay. Man, you know she really make that. You know that's one of her specialties right there. All right, cool. What about you, D. Barry? Favorite dessert would have to be sweet potato pie. Sweet potato pie. Yeah. Put that whipped cream or the ice cream on top. Know. Yes, sir. A little bit of ice cream on the side. Yes, sir. A little milk on the side too. Ooh. You gotta eat it hot, dude. Yeah. You gotta put it in the microwave. Oh, believe you me, I might have to go get some now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the, oh, I was going to say the last question, you know, guys, is like, wh what statement we got to go out there and, and why we got to go out there and make that statement? A lot of people will say, you guys, you know, what about your coach and what about the new coach? But what's our statement wh and why we got to make that statement? I feel like we got to make this statement because we the you, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've been down for the past couple of years, but we got to, this got to be the game that we show everybody how we, how hard we work, how mm -hmm. hard the safeties hit, how hard the running backs run, how hard the, Defensive tackles and defensive ends do their work. True. You just got to do work and show them, show the nation what we all about. True. And I like that coming from a senior. You have nothing, you know, to come back for or anything like that. So that's, you know, that's coming from the heart is, is we got to go out there and prove it. Just to let you know for future classes that come in that they have to have that same mentality, even a senior, freshman, junior, whatever you call it. And what about you, Boom Boom? Why we got to go out there and make this move? I'm touch on with D. Barry, man. You know, this, this game here. This rivalry right here bigger than us. You know, there's people right now you know, who died for this university. You know, who died, you know, the weather, you on that shirt, man. It's right. bigger than that. It's bigger than us. When I came here, I already knew that I wasn't living you know, to play football. The University of Miami, for me, I was living through guys that came from the past, guys that are going to play for the future, and right. guys that are playing right now. You know, so when you're out there, you know, with that you on your helmet, you, you got to believe and you got to know that every time I line up against anybody, especially a guy, with that average on the helmet, you got to dominate every play and give 110%. Yeah, and I, I, I say the same, man. I say that we got to go out there and do, and do it for us, man, because that's what, that's what everybody wants it to do. When, they, when it was their turn to go out and play these guys, they did it for themselves, you know what I'm saying, to let everybody know why they were going to go out there and dominate them, not just beat them, they got to go dominate them. Because this Irish uh, Miami University game is a big-time rivalry, you know what I'm saying? 65 minutes. 65 minutes we got to play, man. And I just thank you all both. No problem. All right.